Once upon a time, in 1915, in Belleville, France, two little baby girls were born. Both were called Edith Gassion Piaf. One of them grew up to be the iconic performer we all admire and love. The other, whose life seemed to mirror that of the first, without the fame, is here tonight. So please, welcome with her very own show, The Other Piaf! Good evening, everybody, and welcome to my show! Woo! I'm a bit sorry about this. I've got a little bit of a cold, so I hope you've been listening to the grandmother, Boba Bertha, talking to you about the garlic! Hmm? It's very, very good advice. Very good, apart from the fact that, you know, the husband will leave. I don't know where Marcel is today. Has anybody seen him? If you see him, please can you send him back to me? Oh, anyway, I'm very sorry about this today. I have a really nice young man in the studio, and as you know, I like my nice young man. <laughs> so, today we have Josh. Josh, it's very good nice to meet you, Josh. You have some very beautiful stars on your skin. What yeah. is this? Just a lot of tattoos. <laughs> a lot of tattoos? So Too you, much money spent. You like pain? Yes and no. <laughs> oh, right. Well, <laughs> anyway, we move on. So, uh, would you like a whiskey first? No, thanks. So. You don't really, drink? No. Yeah, people just don't like drinking. I don't know why they don't like drinking with me and... Too much drinking in the past. Where's my horse gone? <laughs> hey, hey, has anybody seen my horse? Give me back my horse, quickly! <laughs> oh, my little horse. Oh, were you sad and lonely? You must go back. Go back to where you are. There, my beautiful Sorry about that, Josh. You, okay. This is, um, unfortunately, I get a bit like this sometimes. Very sentimental. So, Josh, why are you on my show? I'm here to make a TV program. Yes. About, it's basically about a band, following a band who are trying to make it. Oh, really? It's very comedic. Uh, and it follows them through the series until they finally do basically wow that is fantastic you need some singers you know i am the the biggest singer in the whole of the french world we do need i some am singers. the other piaf you want to hear me sing you can sing i will start singing no shut up shut up get rid of them bloody public rubbish society they're always begging at my door I'm not allowed to sing my own songs, Josh. It was beautiful. It's really, really bad. I'm not allowed to sing my own songs, you know? Terrible. Anyway, tell me more. Tell me more. So when did you come up with this idea to to write your own series? Uh, Last year. I decided to write it, and then it took a while. (laughs) But I finally finished the pilot, and I tried contacting a few companies and things. You write about aeroplanes with, with pilots? Oh, uh, write a pilot. Yes, like like <laughs> aeroplanes with pilots. No. I don't that, understand. That I don't speak very one. good English. <laughs> what do you mean, the pilot? A pilot, so a preview oh. of what it'd be like. Oh, like a promo. Yeah. Oh, I understand promo. what this is. Yes, very good. Sounds very good. <laughs> so, you you write this this lovely uh, show this this what like a soap opera maybe? Uh, no, it's comedy. I don't really know what to call it really. And how many <laughs> actors do you need in this thing? Uh, two, three. Oh, all right, all right. I haven't like, fully worked that out yet. <laughs> and they're all musicians. Uh, they all play music. Yeah. Bits of music. Bits of music. Right, well, why don't you ask our wonderful public out there? I can see that um, we've probably gone up to about two million. I've been seeing. This is because you're young and beautiful. You know, uh, somehow they don't watch me enough. But when you had the beautiful Marcel, my beautiful Marcel, (laughs) when he was on, oh, the women were banging on the doors to come in. Ah. Not to mention when Mar- Martin was on. <gasps> but don't tell Lauren. Don't tell Lauren. She doesn't Sorry. like it when the other women... Anyway, coming back to normality. 
Calm down, ladies. You know, you've got uh, to be very calm now. I'm not having any whiskey today, so I'm a bit all over the place. It's a bit difficult to look at it. Mind you, it doesn't look very good, does it? It looks like it's been lying there for a couple of weeks at least. That's it. Yeah, it's just <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry to stop you there. Why don't you tell our beautiful audience, that's what I was trying to say, what do you want? What do you want from the public to help you to create your wonderful idea? Viewers. <laughs> you want viewers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Viewers and possibly a director. <laughs> a director? Director. Oh, we can definitely provide you with director. Of Someone viewers. to bring That's structure. <laughs> do you have a script? I do. It's okay. Not on me. Well, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to end the show in a minute because um, it's gone on for too long. Uh, and then I'm going to ask you to tell J uh, the cameraman to Jacob exactly what you're looking for. And then we put it on, eh? We put it on uh, in between our shows. Is that all right? Jahib Josh, we hope to help you get whatever you need. Yes, we hope we can help you to get whatever you need. And we all work together, you see. I like the Hi. people, don't I? Yes, everyone! Woo! I like the people. Everybody knows that Eddie Piaf is a woman of the people. Anyway, so thank you very much, Josh. So I go now. Bye-bye, everyone. Say bye-bye, Josh. Bye. Thank you very much. And like I say, we now have a public uh, society community statement from Josh, what's your surname? Cooper. Cooper. Thank you very much.